Good morning, dear students. We are going to start our English portion for this year with a beautiful poem. We have often heard of famous lines like "Life is a game, play it well," or "Life is like a movie, and you are the hero of your life." Yes, children. In life, we face many ups and downs, but in the end. we have to keep going forward and have to have a positive attitude thus we come to the title of our poem life by charlotte bronte we will read the poem together and then get into the explanation life believe is not a dream so dark as sages say oft a little morning rain foretells a pleasant day sometimes there are clouds of gloom but these are transient all if the shower will make the roses bloom oh why lament its fall rapidly merrily life's sunny hours flit by gratefully cheerily enjoy them as they fly what though death at times steps in and calls our best away what though sorrow seems to win over hope a heavy sway yet hope again elastic springs unconquered though she fell still buoyant are her golden wings still strong to bear us well manfully fearlessly the day of trial bear for gloriously victoriously can courage quell despair okay so the poem life gives us the message to be optimistic that is to be positive the poetess charlotte bronte is an english woman i've given you a small little description about her in the side she is a poet as well as a novelist let's get into the explanation i'll read a few lines and then we'll explain it together okay the poet says that life believe is not a dream so dark as sages say oft a little morning rain for tells a pleasant day the poet is says that life is not as dark as sages say a sage a sage is a person who is a wise man oft a morning rain for tells a pleasant day oft often in literature rain or dark clouds etc are used as symbols to signify something that is bad or a difficult phase of life but here the poetess uses them as a way to highlight the fact that life in life we experience these difficulties sometimes we experience failures but it is these difficulties that makes us stronger and something good always follows that is a pleasant day sometimes there are clouds of gloom but these are transient all if the shower will make the roses bloom oh why lament its fall just like after the rain nature looks so fresh and vibrant transient transient means something that is not permanent clouds of gloom gloom is something that is dull these difficult times are not forever so she is trying to explain to us that in our lives we do experience difficult phases but it is not going to last forever if the shower will make the roses bloom or oh, why lament its fall here she is trying to explain to us that the roses will bloom that means happiness will follow after the rain then why should we lament its fall lament to complain if the flowers are going to bloom after the rain which tells us that after the difficult times 
happy times are going to follow loveliness will come all right that was the first stanza let's move on to the second rapidly merrily life's sunny hours flit by gratefully cheerily enjoy them as they fly now here the poet says that life moves rapidly very very fast merrily happily hours flit by meaning happy times they move very very quickly they are compared to sunny hours thus we should appreciate that is to be grateful for these times cuz once it's gone it's gone forever the third stanza now this is the longest stanza in the poem so we'll take a little time to explain this what do death at times steps in and calls our best away what do sorrow seems to win over hope a heavy sway now here the poet is deals with a very very difficult topic that is death now all of us like to live right no one wants to die but then it does happen and therefore we call this as a difficult time in life she asks two questions what though is a way of saying so what so what if death has to come at times and take the best away does that mean that sorrow seems to win over hope so death comes and takes our best away our best is the people that we love the people that we are near and dear to does that mean that sorrow wins over hope she she's asking us whether we feel that if someone is you know taken away by death does that mean that sorrow wins that means where is hope in the next few lines she explains that hope will come back hope will spring back up and will bounce back with her golden wings now the color gold is a sign of hope a sign of something that good is going to come something that shines brightly for us it helps us bear all our worries still strong to bear us well okay so we have to make sure that after difficult times hope is our only savior all right and we should hold on to hope so that we can come out of our difficult situations we will face our day of trial if you see the next few lines manfully fearlessly the day of trial bear trial is a day it could be you know the poetess might want to say that the last day of someone's life or a very difficult day in someone's life okay so when that day finally comes we have to stand up manfully and fearlessly which means that something that is uh, that you can stand up like a strong man okay and victoriously and gloriously can courage quell despair we have to face our most difficult days courageously and we will overcome all our worries and failures victoriously because in the end courage will end all sadness i want you to read these few lines that i have written here she concludes when one day of trial comes okay that we can be courageous and when you are strong when you are determined when you are strong willed nothing in this world can defeat you so therefore you need to have hope and you need to have courage now there's one thing i want all of you all to uh, note down is the fact that death and hope if you notice in the poem are written in capital letters which tells you that they have both been given human qualities death steps in okay it's given the human quality of stepping in and also hope having golden wings to fly all right so these are abstract things given human qualities so that we conclude with our poem i've given you a few uh, meanings here 
poetic devices all of you all already know how to pick out rhyming words I've just given you a few examples the rest you will have to do on your own okay for example gloom and bloom figures of speech now in the 7th and 8th you all have already done figures of speech yes so i've given you few examples of personification and metaphor there's a new figure of speech for you that is called euphemism and calls are best away this is a gentle way of expressing unpleasant ideas now the idea of someone being taken away from you by death is something that is very serious but to give it a nice gentle way of saying it you just when you want to give someone a uh, bad news of someone that has passed away you just don't go up to them and tell them this person is dead okay so you say it in a more gentle manner by saying that he has passed away or is no more or has left for his heavenly abode okay or has started his journey towards heaven these are gentler ways of expressing unpleasant ideas okay all right now this is very important uh for your 9th and 10th standard this question is added to the question paper it is known as appreciation of poetry okay it is a 5 mark question the poem will be given to you in the question paper there will be points given to you okay, i have given the points down here as well name of the poem name of the poet rhyme scheme figures of speech and the central idea i have given you the marks as well if a total of 5 marks okay you have to analyze the poem you have to appreciate it say give your opinion about what you feel about the poem now in short i have given you the appreciation for the poem life let's read it together the poem life by charlotte bronte is a motivating and optimistic poem the rhyme scheme of the poem is a b c b for the first stanza and then d e d e and so on for the remaining stanzas which means that only in the first stanza you have a b c b because of the words dream and rain okay they are not rhyming words but if you see the rest of the poem it follows the d e d e pattern okay the poet is uses many figures of speech for example you can see personification what though death at times steps in here we see death is given the human quality of stepping in you have to mention the figure of speech you have to mention the sentence from the poem as well as the explanation only then will you get that full one mark the poet is says that bad things in life are temporary and good things will follow even when we face difficulties hope will rescue us we must always look at the positive side of life and have the courage to overcome our challenges and difficulties this is the central idea so all together if you write all these points you will be given 5 marks yes in your paper you can get full 5 marks for appreciation of poem okay think we are done thank you